Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. Um, if you have not yet done so, please make sure you go ahead and hit the bell notification and the subscription buttons right now so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Now, before I get into this review, I just kind of want to throw in a little shout out here. Um, for those of you who are interested in reading um, whiskey blogs, there is a new one that has just recently started up. So, for those of you who have been following, uh, say, myself and, say, a few of the other channels that has started up at about the same time, you may remember Matthias from Ear Whiskey. Matthias has now started up his own um, blog site. The site is called Madsen's Reserve. I'll put a link in the description box down below. So, if you want to, you can go and check out uh, Matthias's new whiskey blog. Now, Moving along to my review, today I am going to be reviewing the Singleton 12 year old. So let's pour a little bit into my glass. Ah, just a splash more. Bit too much. Oh well, we'll save the rest for later. Okay, so um, this is the, the Singleton 12 year old. Um, this has been bottled at 40% ABV. It is a space side single malt. Now, I've reviewed a couple of other Singletons in the past, so I'll also put links in the description box down below um, if you're interested in watching any of those other reviews later on. Alright, let's get on with today's video. So, on the nose. Okay, so this is typical space side tropical fruits. Pineapple, mango red sweet apple honey i'm also getting um ah, what's it called the lemon blossom yep i've only just recently been able to smell what actual lemon blossoms smell like and that's what i'm getting here at the moment it's just got this light citrus floral note coming through it's also quite grassy as well quite a bit of vanilla and caramel I am not sure if any of this may be lightly peated. I am getting a smoky kind of earthy element coming through. Of course, that could also be um, barrel char. Um, if any of you are familiar with this and you do know, please um, drop a comment down below and let me know if there is any peat in this. I haven't done any research. Um, it's a bit of laziness on my part, but hey, we're just kind of here to get the tasting on the whiskey. All right, let's move on to the palette and see how we go. So, cheers. So, again, there's more of those vibrant tropical notes. It's like a sweet pineapple. I'm still getting a bit of mango. Um, also, stone fruits are coming in now. So, a bit of like peach and apricot. As well as like the vanilla and a bit of black pepper spice. I'm also getting like hints of, of cigar tobacco leaf. Also a little bit of like a, a light dark chocolate though, probably a little bit more on like a milk chocolate kind of thing. It's got a certain creaminess to it. Uh, considering that this is uh, for at 40% uh, um, ABV, the mouthfeel isn't too light. There is still a subtle syrupiness to it. Um, so it just helps to kind of spread those flavors around a little bit more. Again, a little bit of smoke, some barrel char as well. And, and again, it's just got this really nice subtle sweetness to it as well. It's like a, a grassy sweet, you know, like a, a, almost like, uh, I guess it's how I would probably assume that like dew would taste like. When you see like the, the dew on the, on, on blades of grass, you, I imagine that to be like a very, like gentle sweet um, kind of flavor all right let's move along to the finish again very much the same from nose to palate and again pretty much again, pretty much the same notes coming through on the finish as well again it's sweet it's got those tropical notes to it more of that milk chocolate vibe coming in a little bit of caramel as well and a touch of vanilla um overall and this is what I kind of find with the Singleton whiskies that I've tried so far. They are very enjoyable, but they're not absolutely mind-blowing amazing. I mean, they're perfect for entry-level whiskies. 
I don't think they're trying to be anything that they're not. They do have like a solid flavor profile and they actually do maintain a, like a nice flavor from beginning to end. I will say though for the price, I do enjoy the Malt Masters um, selection a lot. Well, I shouldn't say a lot more, a little bit more than this. I don't think you're really getting all that much value from the NAS going up to the 12-year-old age statement. Um, I think if there was much of a quality difference, then I would say, yeah, go for the 12-year-old all day. But um, I think, really, you can't go wrong with the NAS. Now, it's actually starting to rain. <laughs> The weather was holding off for a bit, but it looks like now I'm going to have to, to call it a day. But um, yeah, all in all, so far, really can't go wrong with Singleton. Um, I've been enjoying what I've been trying so far, and I do look forward to trying more, say, from their, from their releases. Alright, I'm going to leave it at that. My name is Andrew. I'll see you all again on the next video. Get this. Well, since you managed to make it this far, why not go ahead and check out some of these other reviews that I have done in the past. I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.